My plan for the future. Um, man, I'm trying to get Grammy out the ass, though. I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get Best New Artist. I'm trying to get awards like today's. Oscar. Yeah, Oscars. Um, and then eventually, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to branch off, you know what I'm saying. Like, DCT will still be the parent company, but I'll eventually branch off and start my Look, own. Look, he already talking about leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, I mean, I want to, you know what I'm saying, I, I want to I fill that, that CEO spot, or I'll just take your spot when you get ready. You can have it mine, man. Yeah. Once y'all get rolling, I plan on trying to get up out of this business anyway. I'm doing this for y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I take the CEO spot, you know. Um... But yeah, I wanna, I do wanna get into acting a little bit. I mean, I think, I think that's something, that's something I, I'll try, you know. Cause I wanna be like a complete artist, not just. I don't, I don't wanna be, you know, what I'm saying, labeled just as a, a rapper. Well, scratch that, right, not right. a rapper. I'm an artist. Um, I wanna, you know, what I'm saying, do acting, uh, shoot videos. I wanna do all that stuff. Produce. Man. Shit, it's like. Like I've been trying to tell y'all for the longest, man, you know, the, uh, y'all are at a position, in a position right now, y'all are at a point, state of hip-hop, where y'all have pretty much unlimited access to everything that you want. I mean, the fans are starving for what y'all have. Right. They don't know it yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they but they're but they starving for what you have to offer, you know, a little bit something different, you know, some versatility, the ability to, uh, you know, to, to, to go outside the box. You know, pretty much everything is just following that same day. I mean, the radio club blueprint, you know, people making a million dollars off, you know. And, and the funny thing about it is, you know, people used to ask me what I thought about, you know, the advancements in technology. Because when I first started rapping and everything, we didn't have none of what y'all got now. You know, um, yeah, dinosaur shit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I used to tell them, you know, I, I, I respect the growth. You know, in music, you know, I applaud that. I really, I really like the fact that you know technology has made it possible for us to do things with music that you know you would have never dreamed possible, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Right. But the problem is just like when you watch a movie. Sometimes you see a movie and you see the the preview and you see all the special effects and the graphics and everything else that goes into making it look hard than a motherfucker. And you're like, man, I gotta go see that. Mm -hmm. And then you go see the movie because of that preview. And you come out the theater two hours later, like, what the fuck did I just watch? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. You know, they, they, they ain't spent no time on the actual plot, the theme of the movie. is just all, you know, the, the bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing with music now. You know, with the technology that they got, you know, it's making it more possible for producers to do bigger and better things with the music and, and with the sound and with the effects and everything else that goes into the track. And then the artist says, well, damn, this shit's so hard right here. I ain't really got to put nothing to the track. You know, I ain't got to do nothing to it. It's going to sell by itself. And it's making the artist get lazy. Auto-tune. Yeah, yeah, it's making auto-tune, man. I hate that shit, dog. Ain't wrong with I, Man, I hate auto-tune. I'm debating. I mean, I mean, but, I mean but, but people do think, you know what I'm saying, all they got to do is, is make a song with some auto-tune and it's going to say, I'm not going to lie, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I'm eventually going to do one song with auto-tune, but I mean, it's, it's kind of getting played out, you know what I'm saying, he's going to use it. Well, I mean, auto-tune is good for some things, yeah. though, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's good for like background effects yeah. and, you know, stuff like that, but you got artists now that make a whole damn album off auto-tune, man. It's just, it's, it's hey, hey, the 808 yeah, Well, you know what I'm saying, certain <laughs> artists can get away with it. Yeah. But, you know, but I'm saying, like I said, the technology that we have nowadays has made it possible for just about anybody to make a record. Right. You don't even have to have talent. That was that was one of the reasons why you always hear me say can't none of y'all new school artists mess with my cats from back in the day. It ain't really got nothing to do with the styles or nothing like that because some of y'all shit nowadays is hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we had a we had more heart, we had more feeling that got put into it because we didn't have all that technology. You actually had to say something. You know what I mean? You actually if you was a singer, you had to be able to sing. You know, if you was a rapper, you had to be able to rap. You couldn't just get up there and spit anything or else you get thrown off the bus. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> but I mean, I think hip hop is, is is you know, it it took it took a a, a sideways turn there for a minute. But I I think it's on its way back. 
Yeah. You know, I really do because I start seeing artists like B.O.B., Wale. I start seeing, you know, the Kanye's. I start seeing, you Dark know, side. even Ludacris, Dark Side. Yeah. You know, I start seeing, you know, you know, artists like, you know, Jay-Z reverting back to where he came from. You know, um, yeah, lyric, lyrics is definitely yeah, yeah. Back. The lyrics are on their way back. Yeah. You know, the artists are. I mean, the fans have pretty much got tired of listening to right. you know, uh, drop it low and let me you know shake your ass, bitch, and, and this that and other day. I mean, they've got tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The fans actually now have, they're, they're listening to it because that's the only thing they still being fed. Right. But in their subconscious, they sitting back just waiting for somebody to come in and change this shit right. all over so again. So best food, be on the lookout for Dark Side, by the way. Okay. <laughs> he just said that and I and I had to say, you know what I'm saying. So basically what you saying, we the Stephen Kings in this game, we tired of them bootlegs. <laughs> no, no, no. No, just, just, just to go back on what you said, um I ain't gonna really understand y'all. Let me be honest with you, y'all probably ain't gonna develop no fan base right away. You know what I mean? Well, because okay. I, I mean, no, no, you know I don't mean it like that, but you probably aren't going to develop a large fan base right at the moment. Uh, the only reason is because what you do is not what people are used to. Right. You see what I'm saying? It, it's just like with any new thing, it takes a minute for it to catch on. You know, but eventually people will start putting aside all the other stuff and they'll start noticing the lyrics. They'll start noticing the content. They'll start noticing the fact that every single one of y'all songs is completely different. different you know what I mean? Right. They're, they're, I mean, they're, it's not only different from what everybody else is doing. Every one of y'all songs is different from what you done did. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there, there's no song that they can play back to back that'll sound exactly the same. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And, and, and after a while, they'll start to appreciate that creativity, that artistry that y'all put into y'all work, and, they, and it'll pay off. And when the fans come, because y'all actually have something that they can grab hold to, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They'll be long-term fans. They won't be bad fans. They won't be something that fades in and out as the times change. Right. They'll be something that sticks to you through a generation. Right. You know what I mean? So that's, a, that's what y'all have going for y'all. You know what I mean, and and, and uh, you can pretty much find us everywhere. www.darksidemusic.com. Don't just go look at the page, man. Post a comment, sign the <laughs> fan club, do something. Yeah, uh, you know we need it, man. If, if you can do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut out outside. I'm talking around this nigga looking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding on. Put that in there. You nah. got to leave that in there. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Um, no sis for you. Oh, yeah. Download the mixtape, too. I mean. Yeah, the links are everywhere. Yeah. I mean, if you go listen to the music, I mean, that's good, too. I mean, but it's, it's better if you download it. You know? <laughs>